We're joined now by Kendall Gammon, former Pittsburgh State Gorilla, 15-year NFL career with the Steelers, Saints, and Chiefs. First off, I want to thank you for being here, Kendall. We're going to get to it. Uh, this show is called Run It Back, and obviously you can't run it back until you get the first one done. You were there in Miami right. last year. First off, what was it like to see this franchise after a 50-year drought go and finish it in Miami? Well, it was really special. You know, it was 50 years uh, later, and then just – you know, dealing on all the disappointment from the year before on that loss to the Patriots in overtime, which, you know, essentially was decided on a coin flip. So to see Chiefs Kingdom get so fired up and just see the guys and be around them afterwards, and um, it, it's a special deal, you know, for me having played in the Super Bowl to be there and be a part of the winning uh, side of it was just uh, very unique. You kind of mentioned it there. You played in a Super Bowl with the Steelers. How is that experience different, and how does it feel different when you're out there on the field playing? Well, you know what? I think it's different in the fact that certainly you're not playing. You're, you're broadcasting it. But just the game is so much bigger now than it, it was in uh, 1995 in Super Bowl 30. You know, I'm completely dating myself. That and my forehead date how old I am. And um, But, you know, it's uh, – it's different when you're a player, certainly, because, you know, this is what you've been working for your whole career to put that ring on your finger and uh, say you're the world champion. And uh, it's something that was just so special to watch the Chiefs do last year and really to do it uh, with a lot of injuries and, and how they dealt with things. And, you know, not unlike what they're dealing with this year, it's just the injuries are in some different positions. And then, of course, the COVID year, which has certainly uh, been unique, to say the least. So, um it's it's uh, it's a surreal moment when you're down on the field and you're about to to start the Super Bowl because you realize the gravity of the situation. And we've spent a lot of this week talking about the quarterbacks, obviously, and the wide receivers and the tight ends. Uh, you know, you were a long snapper. You're a specialist. Um, you know, talk about how important those guys are in, in these big games, especially, you know, when a lot of these come down to, to field goals and, and the hold and, and stuff like that. And how, you know, it's kind of better off that people at home watching don't really know you guys' names when it, when it comes down to those situations. Yeah, that's right. You know, special teams, uh, you know what, you only get the certain amount of chances. And uh, the fact is, the magnitude that they can hold in the game is is so much bigger than a lot of other plays. I mean, an offense, you can make a mistake or two and, and still be okay and deem to have had a great game. If, if you're a kicker, a punter, long snapper, and you make a blatant mistake, it's something that quite likely may cost uh, the team the game. So it is, it can be very stressful. You've got to embrace the challenge. And, you know, as they say, sometimes embrace the suck. You just have to deal with it. Uh, you mentioned, yeah, you you only get your name called if you, if you make mistakes, and you'd rather be uh, you'd be, rather be uh, not heard from. But you know, you, you can go down, make a tackle as a long snapper, cause a fumble, do things like that. Uh, they don't happen that often, uh, but you can look at it that way. But ultimately, you're right. Uh, for me, as a long snapper, if you don't know my name, then I'm doing my job. All right, your last question here is kind of an open-ended question. Chiefs win on Sunday if the Chiefs win on Sunday if. Uh, they hit Brady uh, multiple times. They put pressure and they take him down for at least two sacks. Uh, conversely, uh, Chiefs win if they can keep uh, Patrick Mahomes upright. And that's going to be a difficult task because this defense of Tampa Bay is very good. Um, Jason Pierre Paul and what he's done. And then, of course, the offensive line of Kansas City losing Eric Fisher last week. I mean, only one of the five starters are back from last year's squad that won the Super Bowl. Uh, so it's a tall task, uh, but uh, I think Andy Reid will scheme around it, and, and ultimately I do think they win. All right, Kendall Gammon, 15-year NFL career, played in a Super Bowl. I certainly appreciate you taking the time. Hey, you bet. Take care. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.